In the book of Psalms, chapter 27 and verse 4, the psalmist says, One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the world, and to inquire in his temple. With these words, our Father in the Lord, the Most Reverend Dr. Ephraim Olanrewaju Adebola Ademowo, Officer of the Order of Niger, Fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Letters, and the retiring Diocesan Bishop of Lagos. Having made a decision to follow his Lord and personal Savior, Jesus Christ, sometimes in the month of July 1968, and trained as a priest at the prestigious Emmanuel College of Theology, Ibadan, between September 1968 and June 1972, he never looked back. Baba Ademowo had a robust childhood, having been born into the family of late Chief Bolade and late Madame Juliana Ademowo, both of blessed memory, on July 29, 1948. His father was a veteran headmaster and educationist in Lagos. His grandfather was from Ijebode. After his primary and secondary education in Lagos and Abeokuta, he attended Emmanuel College of Theology Ibadan from 1969 to 1972 for ordination course. He, he, he actually took Elisa to another level, spiritually. He believes so much in a church that is driven by the Spirit, not by letters. That time, uh, I worked in some places. He was directing me all along, giving me how to do the job. And in fact, every clergy in the, in the diocese uh, took after his way of life because he has a standard. And this standard was well maintained throughout his tenure here in, 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 in Egyptian land. One thing about him, very, very neat. He was very neat. Always neatly dressed. Baba and Mama, they are real prayer warriors. As I said, Ijebujesha has produced nothing less than six bishops in Nigeria. So Baba Adimowo is the pace setter. Um, as I said, Adimowo, Akinde, Olumakaye, Akinjemi, and a host of others. Both Baba Ademowo and the wife, they loved their vicars. Mrs. Ademowo, I know, as the bishop's wife, would go to look for beautiful dresses that the vicar's wife would wear, that the lady would be looking at them. They would not be able to slight them. I think during that time, they made it that any vicar getting married, you will think is their own son. When you talk of a father, he has been a father in every aspect of it. He's a mentor and uh, he, he teaches his humility is what you you, you, you have to learn from if you call yourself a Christian. And the, the way he goes about doing his things, you want to copy if you if, 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 if you're a lover of good things. He's a disciplinarian. If you don't have anything to hide, you will enjoy him. If you have something to hide, you will run away from him or you criticize him. Another standard is that he believes that you have to really help others is a generous giver. No, can't talk to them. Be, we have a lot of conflict. We don't want to see them. 
to je pe enikan gbe ogun ye ti won won wa se kini kan ti mi o le e va gbagbe ti mo de ke ko nbe emi idariji eniyan to to je pe tan ba ri ejo gba yen bo se behave ani eniyan ton ba ri elagboja tan ri ejo kan ko ko pa kan to pa ejo to je pe gbogbo nkan lo ma complain ni pa e ani eni to nse tisha to gbo salary tisha to tun wa nse ise ni church kini kan o sa n ja orisirisi ogun ye se lo da ro ojo kan mo kan gba le ninu le ati de bi n gba yen olohun ti pese le fun wa to ko mi ba ti ji laaro tan la se adura aro won le ma wa le desleti di ten gbogbo awon arugbo ti won ba ri ma bere si wa won ka kiri wa lo ma wu won so ma n pe kan to de no ba ni na ba wole no ba ni ba bo se nko ba mo ni won ti de wa ni a ti la ma se mo ni won ni pe de mo ni salafia ni a won ni alafia ni won ni enikan pe awon awon fe kan jo lo si fe mo ni ki lo tun sele won na fe do hospital ife ki lo de na wa daruko eniye pe o la accident eh mo ni ki wa ni business yin pelu ye ah ta fe ka won lo wo ni ah mo ni anyway alufa ni yin sa mo ni emi o ti mi o ti lagbara mi ti lori ofe to yen ah ori bi ta tin so ni baba ti wole ba ni o ya ka won lo si fe won ni mr lagbaja ba bayi bayi mi o ni daruko e won ni o la awon gbo pula accident pe o de wa ni fe pe accident ni de lagbara die bon se mura tan se lo niyan e sa mo time te yan ma ma gba le aro nu le bebe ki saye eh mobile phone bayi won de won de bebe ile su pa to sa pe tan ide mu olohun ki lo sele ah won ni the condition was so bad oni won de toju e pe eh emergency lo wa lati jeta mo to ti e pare ti to ko lu pare won ni but awon lati ri pe kan ba le toju e gbogbo awon ta won na mo awon professor adebona gbogbo won won ye tan tun je lecturer ni ife tan ni influence gbogbo won la won pe pe igba tan to move e lati emergency yen tan to gbe wonu word fun toju la won to le kuro ni fe mo ni e se e ku se oluwa o je kini kan ti mi o le gbagbe ninu life o he does he does the job with practical behaviors on so many occasions he has introduced central bank people to come and assist me in my agriculture i said i learned how to play the organ that same year and that year adimowo gave me the highest support i could ever hope for such that i started playing for services as a young boy in the secondary school yes papa Ademowo is a fantastic leader, a leader that loves. When you serve under him, you will, if you are a careful study of human beings, you will know that he is a man who loves that you progress. I recall the um, uh, campaign, let me use the word campaign, for the evangelization of the Lekki Ekpe Axis. And for many years, Papa will repeat over and over to everyone who cares to listen, Lekki Ekpe Axis. That, that is the new uh, focus. And I remember when in around 2010 or thereabout, when Papa set up a committee to uh, look at creating more adikin race in that area. And then when I was on the committee, I eventually became the chairman of the committee. And then we set at work, uh, broke Ekwe, broke Etiokun uh, and all that. And then we ended up having uh, about uh, four new adikin race, namely, um, Lagun Adikinri, 
uh, I think um, New Era Adikinri, um, there are two in uh, Peife Soapo, and uh, uh, I think it was a Tiokun, Tiokun Adikinri. So we set at work, and um, by 2011, we even thought Papa had forgotten the report of the committee. But by 2011, precisely 8th of um, December, at our last dignitaries and wives um, meeting, it just uh, reeled out the Ajikinri so created, Laguna Ajikinri, Nira Ajikinri, um, Ifesuakwa Ajikinri, and um, Kise Tiokun. So that was how we were made Ajik. Here is a man who we never allow his position to influence his judgment. Um, it teaches us about everything, about life, about marriage, about housing, about retirement, about investment, about just anything, discipline, liturgy. Just think about it. One of those things I admire about him is his sense of justice, his sense of fairness. He has this thing that in the is simply an enigma. But I'll just say what I've always said about him. He epitomizes my own definition of who a Christian is. Because for me, Christianity is not about the number of theological jargons that one is able to put together. Christianity for me is a way of life. He doesn't discipline to condemn. He discipline to rehabilitate. But unfortunately, not everybody understands that aspect of him. Another thing about Baba is that he is very kind, very generous to a fault. He can give anything. In fact, it, it is as if he reads minds. He will not just give, he will give to you at the best of the time when you are going to likely feel it most. But we thank God, the Faith Plaza, for instance, is, is, is a testimony, an open testimony that everybody can see. The development that he brought into this diocese, both human and uh, physical development, even financial development, is something that every one of us can testify to. Is it the building of the 32 flags at Lekki? When would Lagos Diocese would have dreamt of a thing like that? Is it the house at, at, uh, at Ikoye? These are some of the great things that they did in this diocese. And uh, one of the things that gladdens my heart is the exposure of the clergy of this diocese. Many of us had the opportunity to travel out of this country for the first time by the ticket of Baba, by His grace extended to us. It is a privilege and a ministry to have worked with Him for more than 10 years as His chaplain. I call it a ministry because so many people don't see it that way. And I thank God because Baba made this ministry very easy and simple for me. I don't know where to start. Baba is a big masquerade. When he comes out, every other masquerade disappears. He's an enigma, a phenomenon. His type appears once in a century. Baba is someone that I've known for years and I've studied him. I've seen him as a man who is a father indeed. A man who is a true Christian. A man who is a mentor. A man who can give his, his best, his last to you as just to help you to grow. We tell you stories that is someone, so somebody like that is very friendly, is very prayerful. When I won the lecture, that he was very happy. He's, he's not gender sensitive. In fact, he encouraged, when he felt that, that a woman would become the president, he was so happy that 
a woman is now the president of the Guild of Sports. And I'm so happy that it's during his tenure that I became the first female president. Very, very transparent. You can ask him any question pertaining the accounts, administration, the dashes. He's ready to, he's ready to give you positive answer at any time. During his, before his time, I believe that the fortunes of the Nazis have been there, but not as much as it is now. For the past 15 years, the funds of the church have grown tremendously. I haven't got the figures offered, but I know he has made it so good. And he had been doing it, I must say, effortlessly, effortlessly because we, as auditors, are proud to be associated with him. The governors of the, of, uh, the church, the dances, and in fact, we notice, and I notice, that he looks after not only the dances of Lagos, but beyond both Northern Nigeria and Southern Nigeria. And, uh, any time you call on him, you know that he's very ready to assist. If you cannot give you any funds to help that dances or individual, he can even advise you to wait, to be patient, and he doesn't forget. What I know about Papa, I said, in the beginning I said he's a caring father. When we lost our vicar, the late Venerable Obada Obie. What that, what our papa did for us, <clears throat> I don't think in any diocese anybody can do it. He empowered this woman, the, the, late, uh, the, the wife of the late vicar. Because if you look at how many people I've actually, how many priests have actually worked with Baba and Mama Ademowo in the Diocese of Lagos and today have been elected bishop and they are managing their own diocese to show you that these people are a couple that actually look for the success of people who are working around them. Baba is somebody that I hold him high esteem. I respect him a lot. One, because he's a teacher of all teachers. Baba, he, 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 he's a builder. And Baba is somebody that believes so much in everybody. He's a strong supporter of the women and the women's work. Baba supports our work physically, financially, and spiritually. Every women's program, Baba is part of it. He makes sure that the programs are not just planned properly, he makes sure they are executed properly. Most of the programs, he's physically present. Even when he will not be there, Baba will send a strong delegation of priests to be part of our programs. And during my time of working with him, I noticed that uh, he doesn't like lazy people around, except those who are very hardworking. And if you are not hardworking, he will encourage you so that you change. I've been working with Baba for 11 years. And during this period that we've been working together, it has been wonderful. The relationship between us is a father-daughter relationship. Baba is, is a father indeed. I've known Baba for ages, for ages. And Baba is a Baba for me. Baba say wa, ndi Baba ba je, ti mama ba je la wan staff wan ma je. Ko si yato, la ane ko si she wan, nele ati amwana. The clergyman under him couldn't have asked for something better. 
the prompt payment of the stipend of the clergy, the giving of allowances and loans to clergy to own their own landed properties and to develop their houses is very, very unique. There was one project that must be mentioned as we pay tribute to her papa, and that is Archbishop Abiodun Adetiloye Comprehensive College, Iboye. Today, that school is a success story. Our mama and baba, I call them true light, as the Bible said, that let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your, our Father in heaven. They are really true light of God. Yes, Baba Ademowo outside is different from Baba Ademowo inside. Outside, Baba Ademowo is very, very official. But when you move closer and get to his private life, you'll be surprised. Life is um, tied to his episcopacy. And um, it is an example of how Baba builds. He built me personally from being nothing to where I am today. Archbishop Padema was one of the bishops, you know, who really encouraged us. We saw the heart of God in him. We saw his passion for mission his passion to raise leaders for this church, and then we followed him. My benefits from Baba and Mama, Ephraim Adebola Ademowo um, Foundation, basically. I would say I came to meet Mama 1st of May 2008. Um, during our May Day at the Girls and Ladies Guild Week. And um, I was privileged to lead in the prayer session. And after the session, that was where divinity met my life and uh, my whole story changed. My man Baba took me as an egg. Though I don't have anything, but I have God and I have them. So if I have any problem, I table it with Mama. She is my encourager. And the most thing that he did for us, especially women of grace, if not because of her, I should have go, gone back home. Maybe to be doing farming or to be doing a, as a household, house helper. So on my return, we went to thank her. My family was so overwhelmed. And I must say that act of love from, from Mama and the Baba and the foundation as a whole started the journey of my father's repentance because it was like a girl I said I won't train, God himself decided to train her. Today he's born again to the glory of God. What we are going to lose is his level of hilarity. It's very deep. And uh, he has a special way of speaking, which even when you are tensed up, you will come back to life. And then he is somebody who can enter into people's situation. All the bishops here can testify that he can, gives them advice. He shares in their sorrow. He shares in their difficulties. And he also shares in their happiness when they are happy. So when things are happening in the east, he's there. Things are happening in the north, he's there. Uh, things are happening in the West, is there. So he is an all-rounder in terms of Nigeria. He is well received, whether in Bender province, whether in provinces of the North, the East, or in the West. That, I think, will be the greatest loss that the Church of Nigeria will, be, will suffer. In fact, the Council of Elders in the Church of Nigeria, among the bishops, will suffer will be, we'll be poorer than what we used to be if he retires. And uh, our relationship grew because we saw him as somebody who is forthright and above all somebody who is always loyal 
to the authority, especially whoever is the head of the church at that time. We have found him very uh, open and frank person who carried us when we were that young all along and always encouraged us uh, to learn from the elders and he's always cracking very serious and encouraging jokes. I've made him a very, very great mentor who I admired afar off. Just the mention of his name, when I was doing of Abijab Cathedral, and somebody a job, Sunday I Because I believe that anybody who had ever worked with him is as upright and dependable and neat and very, very respectful and God-fearing. Very neat. That's why we call him Shine. Very, very neat. And of course, he's very selective in speeches, when he utter speeches. And you can see that the choice of words and language he uses. He has assisted bishops, he has assisted dioceses, he has assisted churches, and he has assisted even the laity. Uh, for instance, we have the conference of chancellors, registrars, and legal officers of the Church of Nigeria, which was started by this primate, and which uh, Ademo has been one of the promoters and indeed financiers of this conference. There is no question of compromising with him or officials of the diocese were and carried out by official duties. I ask questions, investigate as much as possible to make sure that the funds of the church are not recklessly spent or any fraud committed. Otherwise, I would have been qualified the accounts of the diocese for the past 15 years. But I have been very thorough, and I have never had any cause to doubt the integrity of both his grace and his uh, subordinates. He has been fair to even the priests. The priests before would not ask for news. They even find it difficult to run their parishes. But he has made it so well that they could administer their parishes without resorting to fraud or other manipulations. I recall that when I was taken to him in his office, when I came and looked at me, he has been seeing me for a long time. I said, yes, daddy. But you know, it's, very, it's not very easy to walk into your office or walk into your palace and say, but I've been trying to see how I can come closer to you and for you to adopt me also as your daughter. Yeah, that's, you have it, I've given to you, you're my daughter, and I've been praying for you without you knowing. Marin Ephraim Adebola Ademawa is a blessing and I will keep on appreciating God for his commitment, his dedication, his doggedness and the grace of God upon his life is something that most times is amazing. Yeah, he has this grace of ability to withstand any pressure. He can just carry on on any journey, even where there is no hope. But he has this grace of that something good will come out of it and he will keep insisting. So, this has been his life from the beginning, even up to now, even in the marriage. I must say that I've enjoyed every minute of my marriage. I thank God for the kind of person he is. Keani though, but he's a very, very firm man. A man that will never take anything. I see him as my coach and no-nonsense coach. He's a bad man who told you me. Consistent on time to me, my love. Ma, 
bicho bo nko ko ati o ha ko se ni bicho bo so je en to je pe ah o mo riri o o mo riri o mo pe mo iya e mo alaikara wa anti wa logbe first one mo mama wa be ne ni en se si wa ko to di pe o do logbe olohun ko forun ke won bicho ba de mo wo n toju mi o your grace as you have blessed us so we bless you this day and forever that may the lord bless you and keep you May he lift up his countenance upon you and be gracious to you now and forevermore. Amen.